welcome to my video on how to run the Huon's Boot CD 12.0 from a USB flash drive. So, what will you need? You'll need to have created the Huon's Boot CD 12.0 already, if you want to follow all the steps in this video. If you do not already have a Huon's Boot CD 12.0, then I would suggest watching my other video on how to create it. The link can be found in the description box below. You also need two programs. The first is called USB Disk Storage Format and the second is called Grub4DOS Installer 1.1 both of those downloads can also be found in the description box finally you'll need a USB flash drive of 371 MB or more begin by inserting your USB flash drive into any USB port in your computer ignore any dialogues that come up, just close them we're now going to go to the download link for USB disk storage format which can be found in the description box and save the file open it up and then extract all files I'm just going to choose the desktop for ease of use and then press extract so go to wherever you extracted it to run the program and press run now this will be different from what I've got because you need to find out where your USB is plugged into in your computer what USB port so the easiest way to do this is to go to my computer and then if you've only got one USB port being used that will be the only one that's in bold the rest will be dimmed out like these ones here. So this is the easiest way to find out which drive that your USB flash drive is in. So I can see here that it's in O and now I know that I can go back to the program, drop down the menu and select O. Once you've done that change the file system to FAT32, FAT32 then change the volume label to, well I'm going to change it to boot cd underscore usb and that's what's going to appear at the top of my usb window when I open it and once you've done that press start this dialog will appear and it tells you that all the data on the usb flash drive will be lost so beware of that don't have any important data on it before you do this and then press yes now this takes about five minutes so I'm going to skip it along in this video so when the process is finished this window will appear which tells us the new type of file system FAT32 in our case the new volume label boot CD underscore USB is what I called it the volume serial number and the total disk space so you can just press OK to that, close the program. Next we're going to install Grub4 DOS and then put it into action. I had a lot of trouble getting this bit working, so follow my steps exactly to make sure it does. OK, head to this link which is in the description. Scroll down to the bottom of this page and press the grub4dos-0.4.4.zip file press that save the file open it up extract all files now it's important that you extract this file to your USB drive that you're using that you want to make bootable so my one is O you now know what your one is and extract it to that location just wait for that to extract, I'll skip it along once that's finished extracting go to the next download link which is also in the description and that will simply come up with this save the file and now open that one extract all files again and to the same location onto your USB flash drive extract that just wait for that to extract the 
Okay, once that's done, this is the final step we have to take now, and this is where we make use of the Hillens Boot CD, the physical CD, um, and I have already got a tutorial uploaded on how to make that if you haven't already got one. So get your Hillens Boot CD, place it in your disk drive, and put it in. Wait for the disk to load. If any autoplay dialogues appear, just close them. Now go to my computer, open up your USB, and keep that there. Go to my computer again, and open up the CD. And I'm just going to show Windows side by side here. Now, the file is currently on the disk. Select all of them by holding down control just like before. Copy. Come over to your USB flash drive window and paste into here. And this will take some time because you know it's a big file. So I'll skip it along in this video. And once the transfer is complete, you'll see the five files that are on the Hirons Boot CD 12.0 and now on your flash drive here as well. So now after all of that the contents of your USB flash drive should now be exactly the same as what I've got here. Feel free to pause the video and check that now. Right, now go into this folder here. Scroll down, find the GRLDR file here and then find the menu.lst file hold control on your keyboard to select that one as well and once you've got both files selected right click and copy then go back to your USB flash drive window here make sure nothing selected right click and paste just wait for those to paste on there and now your USB flash drive window, when put into alphabetical order, should look exactly like this. Now the final step we have to take is right click the grub inst underscore gui executable file and run as administrator. Press the disk refresh button on this new window. Drop down the menu. You have to find your USB flash drive here you'll be able to tell that by the size in brackets now press the part list refresh drop down that menu and select whole disk in brackets MBR and finally press install hopefully you'll get this dialog to tell you that it's been successfully installed and then that's this part of the process done Now it's time to run the Hirons Boot CD 12.0 from a USB flash drive. So here's the USB flash drive I was using earlier. I'll just put it in the laptop. Turn the laptop on. And now my laptop uses F12 to bring up the boot dialog, the boot menu. So that's what I've pressed there. More information on different um, buttons and boot menus in the description. So now here I am choosing the USB from the boot menu. And then here is the Hirons Boot CD window. If anyone's having trouble with using any of the modules inside this, feel free to leave a request on the comments of this video or on my channel and I'll see if I can make a specific video for the module in here that you're interested in. That concludes my video on how to run the Hirons Boot CD 12.0 from a USB flash drive. Feel free to rate and comment and please subscribe if you found my video useful. I do plan to upload more computer tutorials in the near future. And as I said, if you want to request any computer related tutorials, um, just do so on my channel comments or 
if it's related to this video in the comments for this video. Thanks for watching.